What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup haul and I haven't gone makeup shopping in such a long time. I finally went last weekend and also a couple days during this week. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Some things are super new and other things are just kind of old that I've always wanted to try. So before I get into it, I just want to quickly say one thing. Yes, I have a terrible farmer's tan. I went jet skiing last weekend and I guess I didn't reapply my sunblock. So yeah, terrible. I'm embarrassed, but I really wanted to wear this shirt and this necklace, so bear with me, please. Um, so that's it for that. Now on to the haul. First two things I want to show you are foundations. Um, first foundation, the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. I'm in the color Natural Beige. I've gone through two of these jars already, and this is my third one. I love this foundation so much. It's my all-time favorite. I can do a really thin layer of this for a nice light, even coverage, or if I have some breakouts, I can do a full heavy-duty coverage foundation. So I love it. It's versatile, and I don't know. I just... It's a really good foundation. And then the other one that I got was the L'Oreal True Match. This is also really good too. Not as good as my Revlon one. But um, I had one before that was just way too dark for me. It was actually um, like sand beige and it had warm undertones and just was way too dark. So I got Natural Buff and this is um, with neutral or for people with neutral undertones and this actually works a lot better for me. I'm wearing it today and I love it. I'm Oh my god, obsessed with this so far. So I got that. Now on to blush. The first one I want to show you is the Milani Powder Blush that I got. And these are pretty new. It's the blush that looks like a like a rose. It's so pretty. This is in the shade Romantic Rose. They also have a really bright corally peach. And they also have a bright pink and then a like a almost like a bronzer blush type thing. This was the only one that I thought would work well for me and I think it's so pretty. I haven't used it yet but I'm excited to use it but also I don't want to mess up the little rose detailing. I think it's so pretty. But I got this at Walgreens actually for $6.99. Um, they didn't have it at Target yet but I would wait to get it at Target. It's probably going to be a little bit cheaper. Actually scratch that. My Target does not sell Milani products anymore. It's all NYX. So I would definitely try Walmart for this before Walgreens. It'll be cheaper. But I don't know how I feel about that. I did like, I do like Milani a lot, but I also like NYX. So I don't know what to think about it. Are your Targets selling NYX now instead of Milani or is it just like mine in Miami? I don't know. The other blush that I got was by CoverGirl and it is the Instant Cheekbones Blush in Peach Perfection and I have one of these in Refined Rose that I love so much and that I'm obsessed with. So I decided to try this one out and it's obviously peach toned and I like peach toned blushes so I can't wait to try this. I think these blushes are awesome. That's that, and I got that at Target for like $4. It was really inexpensive. Now on to a bronzer that I got, and it's also by CoverGirl, and this is one of their new bronzers, and it's in the color Spices. And I only have two bronzers, and I love both of them, but I wanted to try out some different ones and see which ones I like and stuff. Um, I'm kind of afraid of getting bronzers that are too orange and I know on camera this is coming up super orange but I swear in person it's not but I wanted to just try something else and this looked really cool and it's all matte I don't like bronzers that are shimmery so I thought this one would work out and I can't wait to try this one either I also picked up an eyeshadow palette by L'Oreal and when it comes to eyeshadows I just have so many I don't need any more but when I saw this palette it just stood out to me I was just like I have to have it it's so pretty it's called Rose for Romance and it has really beautiful like pinky purpley tones. It has a nice taupe right here and then also a dark brown and I think, I don't know, it just look really pretty on the eyes. So if you guys are interested, I'll definitely do a tutorial using this. I just, I, I don't know, I just loved it so much. Um, so that's that and this was pretty inexpensive too I think at Target. I also picked up a mascara and this is new by L'Oreal. It's their Voluminous Million Lashes Excess Mascara. I got it in the color Blackest Black and to be honest I saw this and I saw that it was new but I just looked at it and the packaging is just so ugly I don't know it's red and gold and 
I don't like it at all, but I figured why not give it a shot. Um, so I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but I'm excited to. I'm always down to try new mascaras. I have four products left, and they're all lip products. So I'm going to start off with the NYX lipstick in Strawberry Milk. Got this at Target, and I thought it was really, really pretty. It's a really bright pink lipstick. Um, I did a swatch of it right here. It's super bright. I'll probably tone it down with a lip gloss, but so far I like it. The smell is a little weird. It kind of smells like cleaning supplies but the consistency is really nice and smooth so that's a plus the other NYX um, product that I got is one of their butter glosses and I don't know why but I saw this I love the name butter gloss so I bought it on um, the swatch is right here next to the lip gloss it's not as bright as the lipstick sorry it's not as bright but um, I don't know I think I'll like this one better than the lipstick who knows but got this at Target as well the next lip product that I got was one of the new Jordana um, Moisturizing Balm Stain, and this is in the shade Sweet Pink. This was one of the more, like, naturally pink shades, so that's why I got it. And it kind of reminds me of the Revlon Balm Stains, I think they're called. So that's pretty exciting, and these are a lot cheaper. These are, like, $2.99. So um, here's the shade right here. As you can see, it's so bright. It's not as natural as I thought it would be, but I can always tone it down with a lip gloss. Always an option. So that's what it looks like, and it's really nice and smooth, and kind of smells like candy so that's awesome it doesn't have like a weird scent and the last lip product that I bought is by Almay and it's in the shade Blooming Balm and it's one of their new lip glosses and I've been eyeing these for such a long time I finally caved in and I bought one I'm really excited to try this out I don't need any more lip glosses but I don't know I really liked the shade and it smells kind of like it almost smells like funnel cake. I don't know. It smells really, really good. Um, so I wanted to try it out, and hopefully it works out for me because I think the shade is so pretty. Let me swatch it for you. Right here, it's very, very similar to the um, NYX Butter Gloss. So that's what it looks like there. So that's it for my drugstore makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me some comments down below and also like this video if you enjoy makeup hauls. So other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.